this is a pronghorn. What is a pronghorn really? Welcome to this beautiful planet. My name is Alan and today we're talking about the pronghorn antelope. The pronghorns are found in North America, so they're found in Canada, Mexico, and the United States. More specifically, I'll leave the uh, states and regions they live in on the screen for you. The shoulder height of a female is 86 centimeters, while a male has a shoulder height of 87 centimeters. Their body lengths are 140 centimeters for females and 141 for males, respectively. The tail lengths are usually around 10 centimeters and they have pretty large ears up to 14 centimeters. Their body weight usually is between 35 and 70 kilos. Pronghorns are polygynous, which means that one male will mate with several he uh, females, so they will create a harem. Uh, the males will defend territories and their small harems from March until the end of the rut, which is in early October, while the actual breeding usually occurs in mid-September to October in the northern parts of their range, and from July to October in their southern parts of the range. The gestation is 252 days, and the kind of interesting thing is that the births are synchronous, with all the females giving birth within days of each other. The females usually give birth to one or two fawns and they will care for these young for about one to one and a half years. The first few weeks of the fawn's life, the uh, mother will actually eat their excre excrement and they'll also consume the afterbirth. And this is to prevent predator detection. And um, it's quite, quite cool, quite gross, but quite cool. A female pronghorn will live up to 16 years in the wild, although they average around 10 years. In general, pronghorns will form large wintering herds and disperse in the spring. In the summer, the herds will be around 12 individuals, or well, up to 12 individuals at least, while the young males actually will form little bachelor herds. The older males form territories which they will defend against other males. This is usually only through March, from March through October. Pronghorns actually move around a lot and they can move up to 160 kilometers from their winter ranges. And the reason they do this is to avoid the deep snow. So they will travel quite a distance so they uh, don't have to go in all that snow and, and also be able to find food. The pronghorn is the fastest animal in North America and they can run 96 and a half kilometers per hour, which is equivalent to around 60 miles per hour. This fact actually also makes it the fa second fastest land mammal in the world. Strangely, there aren't really any predators in North America that are that fast. So the reason the pronghorn evolved like this is that they used to live a cheetah-like animal known as the Myra... <laughs> the Myracionyx, also known as American cheetah, let's stick with that, uh, in the prairies about 13,000 years ago. And these animals were actually capable of speeds up to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour. The IUCN lists the um, pronghorn as a least concern at the moment and uh, estimate the population around 1 million animals. So the population pretty stable, so that's very good for the pronghorns.
Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about the pronghorn, I left my sources in the description. Also, if you like the video or if you'd like to see something else, another animal, I'll be happy to make another video. Uh, also, I can do a more in-depth video about the pronghorn if you'd like. Uh, feel free to just let me know. I appreciate any kind of feedback and uh, if you have some constructive feedback too, I appreciate that as well. Either way, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Hi. And today we're talking about the pronghorn island.